think Facebook cut me off on that one for some reason. That's the first time I can usually play the speech without, uh, you know, without getting cut off. Probably had the phone too close. Oh, live television, right? All right. I'm assuming you can film in here. If you can't, we're in trouble. I don't see any film, it doesn't say no filming, let's hope they're open. Hello. What do you have to do? Okay, okay. I was gonna go to the museum. Purchase tickets yet? No, not yet. No. no. Okay, just any cell phones or keys? Cell phone or keys so, in here. Do you right. have any recording devices in the museum? Taking pictures is fine? Taking pictures is fine, okay. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Ready, go ahead and walk through. We So uh, whenever you're ready, you'll take the elevators behind you up to the fourth floor, or are the ones going down? Elevator to the fourth floor. Okay, thank you. Yeah. said no recording. Um, I guess I'll try until something happens. I don't exactly blend in. I'm, I'm going to point the camera down. I'll just try to find Michael. So at least we get something. And then if I have to log off, I'll log off. So I'm going to point the camera to the phone. I'm gonna make like I'm taking pictures. Thank <laughs> you. 
Just so you guys know, I was at Radio City Music Hall this night. We couldn't get in the Grammys, but I was outside. The concert was the next night. And this is the Friday night where the kiss with Tatiana. I'll tell you that story one day as, as she told it to me. But it uh, brings back a lot of memories. It's so March, this was a Thursday. And the next show was Friday. This was Thursday night at the Grammys. The audio is very faint, which is good because we'll probably get blocked, so we know the song. But here's my little friend. They don't do man in the mirror. Wow. They don't do man in the mirror. What do you, what do you guys want to see? Everything. All right.
Now let's me and Michael on stage together. I used to slow down the VCR to freeze frame his footsteps. I couldn't do it. And the next night, Friday night, Madison Square Garden was the infamous kiss. And that would be her last show. And Cheryl Crow would step in, who was a background singer at the time. And the rest is, as we say, history, no pun intended. I wonder why they don't show Man in the Mirror, though. Man in the Mirror was just as powerful. I mean, it was actually a better performance. I mean, not better, but just more, you know, emotional. And this was this was a warm-up song for for Man in the Mirror. I'll give you one shaou, and then we'll switch. I tell you, those dancers last night on the street, you know, were pretty good. Younger generation. This was 88. Bad album came out in eight here. I used to freeze frame this, click, click, VCR, click. I got three ingrown toenails. The Man in the Mirror was one of the most powerful, you know, now don't forget, it's other Grammy people, so they were, you know, there's some ego involved, you know, Prince was there, and the, they, they didn't act like the fans acted, you know, but he was just, uh, the guy came in, uh, the guy came in to wipe his, to wipe his head with the towel. I think I'm going to go, uh, Bill Witten's buried at the the other the other forest lawn, and uh, I, I was planning on playing paying him a little uh, tribute. He um, he kind of flies under the radar. I mean, he he's the man responsible for the glove, for the socks, and for you know most of the early stuff. Michael Bush told me on Saturday that he came in the picture in '85 for Captain EO with Michael. So anything. Anything pre-85 was Bill Witten, who did stuff also for the, the Jackson 5, uh, the Commodores. And see, now, here's, now here, here's another guy you don't really hear much of. We'll do a little research on him, but uh, Michael Bush was at the book signing Sunday. I spent so much time, I spent over a half hour with him on Saturday, so, you know, I, I would have loved to have done the book signing, but obviously I had to be at Forest Lawn. Bill Witten started in... Oh, boy. It was the Jackson 5. No, I don't... Don't quote me. Let me do a little research. I want to say 70... I want to say 75, which would have been... That borderline Jackson Five, you know, before they were called the Jacksons, but but in that in that era, I'm not sure if he did Jackson Five in the Motown days. I gotta uh, through 1980. Let me do let me do a little research. I was just doing a little on him. I'll have it all for tomorrow. But he's responsible for for the glove. And here's here's Michael Bush, the great Michael Bush, and the late the late Dennis uh, Tompkins. 
he said Michael wanted the designers, the Versaces, and the, he, he wanted the fashion. He used to send... 1974, Neil Diamond, okay. Yeah, Neil Diamond was his first. He had a shop, he had a shop on, uh, I, want, I want to say Santa Monica Boulevard, something with a number. Um, and I Googled it, obviously it's not there anymore, but it was, it was a little warehouse. And Neil Diamond, El, Elton John, he did some stuff. So, um, yeah. I mean, he's responsible. Well, boy, uh, Julie, you know, I mean, I, I wish I looked like Michael, but that was pretty spot on for those that, those that saw it. It's my, new, uh, it's my new profile picture next to Michael Jackson Jr. But the only thing is, yeah, I forgot to roll the sleeves up. We were, it's hard with these jackets to, to roll it up like that. So I don't know if you saw the bracelet, but. Well, this is, uh, this is $15 to get in here, guys. I mean, I, you just sit here all day. I mean, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I need you to stop recording. Okay, we cannot record anymore, so I'll see you guys uh, later. Goodbye for now. I'll take pictures. Bye.